Oke okay guys, jumpa lagi dengan gue Dunker. Nama channelnya Dunker Speak. Sebelum kita mulai ada baiknya, klik tombol subscribe bagi anda yang belum subscribe channel Dunker Speak dan aktifkan juga notifikasinya. Jadi anda bisa mendapatkan berita-berita yang terupdate dari channel Dunker Speak. Untuk lebih jauhnya kita kenalan dulu dong dengan vokalisnya. Tell me how to make a record. I was in Nirvana. <laughs> What? I was in the greatest rock and roll band of the 90s. We changed the course of rock music. F*** you, man. I was in Nirvana. You asshole. This videotape ever made in the world starring Dave Grohl, drummer extraordinaire. I can't. I'm gonna, I can't get used to the traffic situation. Well, f*** it, it, man! Start driving normally! What's your problem? Yeah. About a year and a half ago, I was completely fed up with the whole thing. I didn't want to be a rock star at all. I, it was just it was freaking me out, you know. So this is my security guard. You know, this, this is my bodyguard. Axel Rose has 10 big, huge, 400-pound guys. I have pepper you, juice. Do you When Kurt died, even just listening to music would break my heart mm -hmm. because it reminded me of him. You know, being in a band like Nirvana was like a dream come true to me. Mm. So to have that rug pulled out from under you, I just, you know, I just felt lost and I didn't know if I would ever play music again or play the drums again. And I don't know if, if anyone's ready for that to happen, really. Yeah, It's hard, you know, when the band know. blows up and, and life changes. It, I, Fortunately, any time I felt overwhelmed with anything, I'd go back to Virginia to the house where I grew up in, yeah. and I'd ride motorcycles and have barbecues with the people I went to elementary school with, yeah. you know, all of my oldest friends. And all of that would go away. Yeah. When Kurt passed away, I remember waking up the next day and thinking like, okay, I'm still here, and he's not. All right, so what am I gonna do today? Yeah. You know? I'm not just gonna sit on my ass. I can't do that. Um, and somebody sent me this card that basically said, I'm sure you don't want to play music now, but someday you will, and that's what will save your life. Yeah. That card was really the beginning of the Foo Fighters. I don't know you anything. I don't know you anything. What? No, I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm a generally happy person, so I don't try to be like. I don't like that. It's because it's. I don't. I mean, if I'm in a bad mood, then yeah, then I'll look like a grunge band, I suppose. <laughs> that in World War II, the Royal Air Force, the English Royal Air Force, mm. saw weird flying balls of fire in the sky and they would chase them and they didn't know what they were and they never caught them, so they called them Foo Fighters. What are they though? Well, nobody knows. <laughs> nice. The first album was just me in the studio down the street from my house. I don't know you anything. I don't know you anything. 
Yeah, please. Uh, good. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't been here in about four years. Mm -hmm. Four years? Yeah. Yeah? But last time I was here was when Nirvana played here. After playing drums for about ten years, you start feeling like you're stuck, you know? And you hear this music and you love this music and you feel like you kind of want to dance around to it. But you have to sit on this chair all night long. With drums, you sort of play from your waist up. And guitar, you sort of play sort of with your whole body because you have the ability to jump around. So, um, so sometimes when I watch videotapes of Foo Fighters playing, I think I look really stupid because I'm like just running around the stage the whole time. Because it's like this freedom of like, I don't have to sit on a chair anymore. So I'm just like, <laughs>